good morning everybody and I mean that in every sense of the word it is a good morning today's the day you get to see my Kenworth I picked her up last night in the dark of the night 9 30 last last night uh, the funds got sent through and the seller contacted me 9 30 like so how badly do you want your truck I'm like pretty badly pretty bad I was trying to play it cool yeah well, wouldn't mind as soon as possible so you want to come get it right now do I so Britt drove me over there and I uh, picked it up I accepted delivery of it uh, yesterday at about 10 o'clock at night <laughs> so it's sitting over at my shop right now I'm gonna take you over there right away and give you the tour Britt and I were talking we think we're gonna name it old blue what do you think take a look at it first and tell me what you think <laughs> Welcome to my new W900. It's not new, it's a 2008, but it's new to me and it's my dream truck. I took possession of it last night and here we are. A surprise that I had when I took possession of it was these blue LED lights. I was gonna put those in myself, but it turns out the owner before me has the same tastes as me and he put them in already. You got two over there, you got two over here and you got two up here. So at night, it makes this whole sleeper and this whole cab glow blue, which is exactly the color scheme that I was going for. Absolutely fantastic. That was a really big bonus for me. I'm really happy about that. Up here in the cab, you have an aftermarket tall shifter. Up here, you got a matching steering wheel, full gauge set. It's beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm gonna get choked up now, man. I was fine when I picked it up last night. I was all excited and good to go, but now that I'm actually in it, sharing it with you guys, I'm just like, <sighs> it's happening. It, it happened, here we are. So it's a mid-roof, what they call a mid-roof. I call it a flat top. Here's the sleeper. I, I Here's the, the cab roof, and then it goes up just a little bit here, but I'm five foot 10. And I can stand up comfortably in the sleeper here. I believe it's 62 inches deep. 
you got a little step down here so it's like a sunken living space got lots of storage up here in here all around in here you have a built-in Kenworth fan how cool is that check this out I'm gonna push this button over here look at that over there how cool is that that's another bonus that I found out after delivery oh that feels nice it's pretty hot outside today so these are windows in here for those of you not familiar with trucks get windows I like to have these rolled up myself because I like natural light coming into the truck. Some people leave them rolled down to keep the heat and the sun out. But since we're inside, I'm gonna roll them up. It's just like any other truck. Make your way over here. Undo the buttons. And just roll it up. Button that up there. Natural light. You can see out they're tinted, so it's very hard to see in. Not very likely people will see in. I'm going to do that to this side as well. Uh, that was a must-have on the truck that uh, I was going to buy. That was one of the things I wouldn't compromise on. I wanted sleeper windows. And there you go. That one's rolled up too. So this thing I'm sitting on here, I wasn't really told about this. This is another bonus that uh, I found after I parked the truck. Because I didn't even sit in the sleeper here until I got it into the shop. Got into the shop here, my wife, Britt, was actually the first one into the sleeper. As it should be. I got this uh, electro warmth control thing. I'm guessing, can you plug it in here? It's connected to this thing here. I'm guessing this is a heated uh, mattress cover. I like to be cold. You guys know this. I like to be cold when I'm sleeping, otherwise I can't sleep. I'm going to hold on to this because in wintertime it might actually be handy. But for summertime I'm definitely not going to need it. I'm probably going to take it out of here for summer and we'll see uh, how it works in wintertime. That was a nice little thing that he left in here for me. With it being a used truck, uh, not everything is going to be 100% brand new and that is totally fine. That's what I expected. These lights here need to be replaced. They're on right now. One second, I'm probably making you dizzy. They're on right now, but they're not uh, at their uh, expected brightness, right? So I've got to replace those. I'm going to go to Walmart and see if I can find those bulbs there, or maybe not Walmart, maybe uh, maybe Penner, Penner Hardware. I'm gonna go around town and see if I can find these to replace them right away. I just figured out how to take this off. Push that in there just gently, because I don't want to break anything, right? Take this down, we'll put this somewhere very safe for now. Okay, so I wanna take these out and take them with me so that I get the right size, right? Twist them. and bath so i'm gonna go and uh find two matching bulbs like this right now and replace these right now you want to come with me it's a warm one out today 21 degrees celsius Woo! i'm not used to this heat yet that's about 73 fahrenheit that is hot for me i've got two hours before i've got to run home and start on supper i have strict instructions that uh I have to get a lasagna in the oven at 5.30. So at 5 p.m. my alarm's gonna go off to remind me to head home. That is in uh, about two hours. I came to Penner Building Center, which is sort of like uh, our local version of Home Depot. They didn't have it. They didn't have the right bulb. So I'm gonna head over to Canadian Tire. Maybe I should have gone there first. See if Canadian Tire has it. It's a kitchen and, what was it called? Kitchen and bath uh, brand of light bulb. So I might have to go to a specific dealer of theirs. But it's Saturday and it's Steinbeck. And people in Steinbeck, business owners in Steinbeck don't exactly want to make money. They close down so early. Everything in Steinbeck is closed so early, it's never open. When everybody is off work and they actually want to do some projects and give them their money, no, they're closed. Why? It doesn't make any sense, right? It used to be everything was closed on Sundays in Steinbeck. At least we got them to open up for a little bit on Sundays. I was like, why don't you want our money? I want to give you my money, but I can't if you're always closed. Steinbeck issue. 
everybody wants nine to five, right? But the people who work nine to five have the money to give you. But if you're only open nine to five, they don't have the time to get to you to give you their money. <laughs> so off to Canadian Tire I go. I've got to drive through here. This is the old Safeway. Holiday RV bought this, which is pretty awesome. Good for them. I have a Ford F-150 right up my rear end here. He is very excited to get over to Tim Hortons or Canadian Tire. And I am not in a rush now that he's tailgating me. I was in kind of a rush, but now that he's right behind me, I can take my time. Yeah. Seriously, he's going to like rear end me back there. Is he going to Tim's or is he coming to Canadian Tire? If he's coming to Canadian Tire, I'm going to go slow the whole way. That is not how you get me to go faster, my friend. Canadian Tire. There we go. Canadian Tire. This is always busy on the weekend. Like, super, super busy. Because they're only open for a short amount of time. So everybody's got to come here and get their stuff before it closes. This would be a good business to own out here. Look at this. Just packed. Oh, oh, oh. You're going to have to go around me, my friend. We can't occupy the same space at the same time. Come on, bud. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, boy. Parking lots. And you're driving in the middle of the lane. Oh, there's Mr. Ford who is tailgating me. He can't find a parking spot either. <laughs> well, don't look at me. That's okay. I'm not going to run you over. Don't worry. Aha, I found a spot. Found a spot. It's mine. It's got my name on it. I'm going to be parked before Mr. Ford. <laughs> Better not ding my doors, okay? Oh, let's see if Canadian Tire has it. It might be a special bulb. I hope it's not one of those special things I have to order straight from Kenworth. It's really busy. All right, here we go. This is kitchen and bath F15T8KB. I bet you anything it's something I have to order like specifically from Kenworth. And I'd be just like them, right? That's how manufacturers are nowadays. I don't know. 15 watts? It looks like it's the right size, right? One and a half inch. That looks pretty wide, though. Huh. Oh, I bet you it's this one. I bet you this is the one I need because it's not here. They don't have it either. All right, we're heading over to Walmart. This place is crazy on Saturdays. Nuts. Walmart? Do you have what I'm looking for? If they don't, I think I give up. I'll order it on Amazon or something. Looks like they don't have it either. They just got these long ones. Looks like Amazon it is. That was a waste of time, but... Well, it's not a waste of time. Now we know where not to find these bulbs. Let's go back to the shop. I know it's an 18 inch. What is this, like an 18 inch, half inch? Or one inch? One inch, two inch. I mean, anyone that would... Hmm. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We'll find it on Amazon. I'm gonna get a quick bite to eat for lunch. Did you miss me? Maybe not that much, you're still getting to know me. I understand, I understand. We gotta build that bond. I get it. It's gonna take a little while. Just leave that there for now. Subway right here. Do my video right here. And I'm gonna see if I can find it on Amazon. Uh, simple enough. But uh, yeah, let's continue the tour here, shall we? Let's get that door open, it's hot in here. So this front bumper is getting replaced yet. Uh, the one that was ordered was the wrong size. So when the right one gets here, uh, we'll throw that on here as well. It's just six bolts, won't be that hard. You can tell it was just bent a little bit here. It happens, it happens. You gotta be very, uh, very careful not to bend these, but uh, this wasn't his fault either. 
we'll get that fixed. I asked him if he could polish the wheels up for me and he did not disappoint. You can see me in there. Oh, 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 how about down there? <laughs> polish it up real good. My decals are gonna be going on here. Right over here, it'll be one just like uh, that one over there, except it'll be black and gray. The black one instead of a red one. And then the unit numbers will be white and the DOT numbers and stuff on the back here will be white as well. And I have another chrome one. It's another Keystone Western logo. It's gonna go right here. That's just a chrome logo about this big. And underneath it, it's gonna say 1 million miles. Because I have had uh, 1 million miles with Keystone already. I'm a part of the Million Mile Club. Nice and shiny back here as well. Back here. And the headache rack came with the truck. The lights work on top there as well. Enclosed, so it keeps all the dirt and road grime off of my chains and equipment, which is awesome. I'm going to be taking this into Winnipeg and having this whole thing polished to a mirror finish as well. I uh, didn't work that into the sale, but that's okay. I paid a lot, a lot of money for this truck. Probably too much, <laughs> but it has some sentimental value to me. Uh, it was my dream truck. It was everything I wanted. Uh, and I worked, I worked a lot of extras in. I worked it, uh, I worked enough value into it to make me happy with it. And uh, I'm excited to start, start driving. We've got the sleeper marker lights here as well. These are being changed actually quite soon. They're gonna be a clear lens and they're gonna be dual revolutions. So when I'm on the highway, they're gonna glow amber, just like this. And when I'm parked, I can flip a switch in the cab and they'll glow blue. I'm gonna do that with all of them. Uh, also up on top there. It's got two rows. It's got the one on top of the cab there. And can you see them? They're also up on top of the sleeper up there. We've got the marker lights and signals up on top of the headache rack there as well. Very happy about that. I like that. Uh, there are also brake lights. The frame uh, needs to be painted, sure, but it's an older truck. That's all right. I'm going to wait a little while because I'm going to end up stretching this frame anyways. So when the frame gets stretched, we're going to do the whole paint job. The, the truck, the frame, everything's going to get painted all at once. And that will be uh, in the future. I don't know exactly when. You can see out there, that's the Volvo I'm gonna be taking on the one trip to Saskatoon. Uh, while we wait for plates on this truck, I'm also planning on putting new stacks on here, uh, either late this year or early next year, like in about a year from now, next spring. Uh, 13 feet flat top stacks, uh, seven or eight inch, I gotta decide yet. I'll start her up for you though. justice or not but it's got a nice throaty growl to it sounds better than the peat i was in that's the truck not much more to show you very excited to get my decals on here hope you like the truck everybody and if you don't well you're not the one that has to drive it Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. There's going to be a lot of fun videos in the future with this thing.